Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at a word problem for a system of equations. So let's first understand what's going on, what the goal is. We have a liquid and another liquid. We know that this, that this one is 36% salt, this is 20% salt. And we wanna know how much of each should be mixed to have 80 liters of a solution that is 30% salt. Okay, so the goal is how much of each, how much of each, how much uh, that means in terms of liters, right? Not percent, but liter. So we have a certain amount of this in liters and a certain amount of this in liters. Those are unknowns. Those should be variables, maybe X and Y. So that's step two. We've labeled our variables. So X liters of this liquid and Y liters of that liquid. That's great. Next, we need to come up with relationships between our variables. Now we look at the sentences. We need to be able to find two different relationships, two equations to have um, so that we have a two by two system, two equations, two unknowns, and we can solve it and find a, find a solution. Okay, so um, 80 liters, let's look at that. We want to end up with 80 liters and we're pulling from X liters and Y liters. That should be pretty clear that we have X plus Y liters is equal to 80. Whenever we come up with an equation, we need to be careful that the units of, of each thing that we're adding is also the units of the sum. What, what do I mean by units? How we're measuring it, like liters. Liters is the units here. So 80 liters, Y liters, X liters. It works fine. Next, let's, let's go down and, and see what the next one is. Keep in mind that percentage is usually in a normal situation is not a unit. Uh, percentage is just a fraction. So 36% means 36 over 100 of the X liters um, is salt. So keep in mind, whenever you see a percentage, that's what it means. So 36 over 100 times X, um, because we're taking this fraction of X is equal to salt. Now, if you're taking a fraction of liters, you actually get liters itself. So salt really should be measured in liters. Each equation should denote an idea. This first equation denotes the idea of amount of liters of liquid, like the full liquid, like the full liquid of X, the full liquid of Y is equal. And this is the full liquid of, of that we're trying to end with. Um, so this idea is kind of like a full liquid equation, say. Now we have some percentages here and we have this idea of salt. Maybe we should try for a salt equation. So kind of how much salt in the end and um, do we have in the end and how much salt do we have from each one of these pieces, each one of these liquids individually? Well, how much salt do we have from liquid one? Let's think about that. Well, I kind of wrote that out already. Um, 36 over 100 times X, right? Because that's the fraction or you could even write this as uh, 0.36 times X. So that's the amount of salt in liters. Okay, that we have from this. So let's write that down. 0.36x is how much salt in liters we have from liquid one. From liquid y, similarly, we should have 0.2y um, liters of salt from liquid two. Now, what about from this? Hmm. Well, we want 30% of this 80 liters to be salt. Oh, well, why can't we just do 0.3 times 80? And that should work. Um, so that's liters and that's the amount of salt. So we have a salt equation and the units are the same in each case, it's liters. Now, please, it's um, if we don't like go through and make sure that units are the same and all these other things and we've kind of delineated this way, we might just be putting down a bunch of stuff that doesn't mean much <laughs> and it may um, be completely incorrect what we're doing if we're, and if we're just thinking it's some kind of magic thing happening here or there, following some kind of rule or tabular method. Um, here, really, all we're looking for is ideas that really do hold here um, between the data. Okay, and remember that percentages are not amounts and not units. And I, I don't want to see a percentage equation unless there are a few times when you might have an application problem where percent actually means like you're, you're trying to, it actually means something else. Um, 
but when it's being used as a fraction, which is how it usually is being used, and it's pretty apparent when it's being used as a fraction, um, then no, no, we don't use it that way. So we have a salt equation and a full liquid equation. Okay, now, now we can solve. Um, and uh, we could use the process of elimination if we want. In fact, I kind of like that idea um, because 0.2 is the same as a fifth. And so we can multiply this whole bottom thing by um, maybe like negative five and then add it up or something like that because then the y's would cancel out. Um, it seems reasonable or maybe, um, or maybe multiply this by five and then maybe that by negative one and then add something like that. Um, I'm gonna try that. Negative X minus Y equals minus 80. Multiply this bottom one by five. So then I know right here, I end up getting a Y. Let's see here. Five times eight is the same as um, uh, 40. So that's like 400. So it's like 30% of 400. And 30% uh, of 100 is just 30. So it's really just 30 times four. So it's 120. Um, so you have 120 on this side, and then for x here, see what we're doing. We're taking um, five times, I think five times 36. Um, so that's like 150, but then you're adding um, five times six, which is 30, so 180. But then with the decimal, it's um, one point, should be like 1.8, I believe. Just double check. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah, should be right. Okay. So we end up getting something like this. Now, when we add, um, these guys cancel out. So we're just left with um, 1.8x minus x, which, um, uh, which is just, uh, so 1.8 minus one, um, which is just 0.8. So we get 0.8x and 120 minus 80 is just uh, that 40, um, I believe. So um, then it's just 40 divided by 0.8. Um, no, 40 divided by uh, 40 divided by 8 is uh, 5. Um, but then we're dividing by an additional tenth here. So we actually multiply by 10. It's, it should be 50. Check it. Um, yeah, and that should be right. Um, so let's see. Uh, is that right? So you can check it. 50 times 0.8. So eight times five is four, so that's 400, but then, yeah, that's right. So we end up just simply getting 50. So X, it should be 50 uh, liters. So we should take 50 liters of liquid one. Well, how many liters of liquid two? Well, from this equation here, we know they add up to 80. So from liquid two, we should be taking 30 liters. And we've just been successful at solving the system of equations and solving this application problem. Thanks for watching.